Welcome to the Rutland Community Health Team's Medical Mastery Minute, a condensed topical summary of the latest advances in provider health care. Today we will provide evidence-based recommendations for most effectively educating patients on how to integrate the DASH diet into their daily living. This video will provide an overview of the DASH diet and improve your awareness on how to integrate self-management and DASH diet education into patient interactions. The DASH diet has been recommended to significantly reduce blood pressure and improve health for patients with hypertension, obesity, and cardiovascular disease. DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. It is a dietary plan that encourages people to eat a variety of whole foods with emphasis on vegetables, fruits, low-fat dairy foods, whole grains, and lean fish, poultry, meats, and nuts. The focus of the DASH diet is on consuming unprocessed, whole foods. People following a DASH eating plan consume foods rich in nutrients such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, and fiber, which have all shown to lower blood pressure. Some foods rich in potassium and low in sodium are spinach, apricots, salmon, avocados, and bananas. This diet is intended to be a lifelong approach to healthy eating designed to prevent hypertension and to support its treatment. What does the science tell us about the DASH diet and the management of hypertension? Studies published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1997 and 2001, which have been substantiated through additional research, found that blood pressure dropped significantly among adults following a DASH eating plan when compared to the typical U.S. diet. When DASH was combined with reductions in dietary sodium less than 2,000 milligrams per day, blood pressure was further reduced. Subsequently, the American Heart Association published a scientific statement in 2006 supporting an overall dietary approach using the DASH diet to lower blood pressure. Further studies have found that following the DASH eating plan can delay or prevent the need for medication for people with prehypertension. For those with stage 1 high blood pressure, the effect of following the DASH diet is similar to the blood pressure lowering effects of taking one medication. This dietary approach has demonstrated efficacy in men, women, older adults, and African Americans. The DASH diet recommendations include vegetables, fruits, low-fat dairy, whole grains, and lean fish, poultry, meats, and nuts. The DASH diet includes moderate amounts of mono and polyunsaturated fats and a small amount of sweets. This results in a diet low in total fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol. In addition, the DASH diet results in lower sodium intake through the emphasis on eating mostly whole, less processed foods. Most people are unaware that up to 77% of the sodium we consume comes from processed, packaged, or restaurant foods. Here is a look at the recommended servings from each food group for an 1800 calorie a day DASH eating plan. Please note, 1800 calories a day may be too high for some people, especially inactive or older women. By choosing the lower number of servings per day, the DASH eating plan can be tailored down to 1,500 or 1,600 calories per day. The recommendations include vegetables, 4 to 5 per day, fruits, 4 per day, grains, 6 to 7 per day, low-fat or non-fat dairy, 2 to 3 per day, poultry, fish, and lean meats, 4 to 6 ounces per day, beans, nuts, and seeds, 4 per week, oils and fats, 2 per day, and desserts, sweets, and added sugars four or less per week. Educating patients regarding portion sizes and walking them through the DASH pictorial to show a few examples of how serving sizes equate to daily meal plans can help people visualize and talk about how the DASH diet can be worked into their daily routine. Using a dinner plate as a guide, patients can be encouraged to fill half with vegetables, one-fourth with a whole grain, and one-fourth with a lean meat, poultry, fish, or beans. With a salad and milk on the side and fruit as a sweet treat, they can make progress toward an overall healthy diet. Healthcare teams are regularly challenged by how to effectively empower patients in making behavioral changes that will improve their health. There is substantial evidence that chronic diseases are more effectively controlled when patients actively engage in self-management plans. The most effective method of assisting patients in implementing behavioral changes involves a process of assessing patient readiness using motivational interviewing to develop an individualized plan. How do you and your clinical team assist patients to adopt the DASH diet? The first step is to assess your patient's knowledge, level of health literacy, and motivation for change. 
One might simply ask, on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to make any changes in your eating habits? If the patient is not ready to consider change, further interviewing can be structured to support self-reflection and a sense of trust in the patient-provider relationship. The personal factors essential in making changes are self-efficacy or confidence in the ability to make the change, the importance of the issue, and the readiness to change. How do you use motivational interviewing as part of a short patient visit? Motivational interviewing is an evidence-based conversational approach that assists individuals in reflecting upon their situation to ultimately create an attainable action plan or goal. Motivational interviewing engages individuals through the use of focused, goal-directed, targeted conversations and questions. The goal of motivational interviewing is to empower and inspire patient confidence, motivation, and decrease ambivalence to change through self-reflection. For a patient at the contemplation or preparation stage, a goal might be to add one or more servings of vegetables or fruits to a day. Asking the patient how confident or how ready they are to implement this goal on a scale of 1 to 10 can assess confidence and readiness to change. This technique is used to bring ambivalence to change out in the open and encourage the individual to make the argument for change. Open-ended questions encourage individuals to begin a dialogue about their current behaviors. For patients in the pre-contemplation or contemplation stages, questions such as, what foods do you regularly eat from the DASH diet examples? Or, how do you feel about your current diet? Can assist them in identifying the problem in order to begin thinking about individualized solutions. For someone in the contemplation or preparation stage, you might ask them to use the tips page of the DASH diet handout and circle one change they would consider for this week, followed by, tell me more about how that will work for you to an elicit in a specific action. The patient education tool that has been developed around the DASH diet has a lot of specific examples on getting started, as well as resources for portion sizes and label reading for patients in the action or maintenance stages. The healthcare team can refer to the tool regularly with patients over a series of visits. You have just watched a brief overview of the DASH diet and have learned some important tips on how to integrate the DASH diet education into your patient interactions. You can help your patients with hypertension, obesity, and cardiovascular disease significantly reduce blood pressure and improve their health. Through discussing the DASH diet with your patients, you can increase your patient's awareness of his or her diet-related risks. Also, within those few minutes, you can build on your patient's current nutritional knowledge and increase their confidence in their ability to make dietary changes. Through that conversation, you will be able to help them make lifelong changes to their diets and ultimately their lives. Start the DASH Diet conversation with your patients today.